how can we impress upon people that uh, this is extremely s serious? So I think, again, I th that flatten the curve concept is so important uh, in this discussion because one of the key parts of that is the U.S. healthcare system and really the world healthcare system, it's, there's a defined capacity right now. There's a defined number of beds. There's a defined number of you know, healthcare providers. COVID-19 spread so quickly. There's so much connectivity throughout the world that if, if there is that big spike, it will just overwhelm us. And I think that's one of the big differences with, you know, as, as important as influenza is and other diseases, that, you know, coronavirus has a much, COVID-19 has a much better chance of causing that big spike, mm -hmm. overwhelming the system. Sure. Well, and that's just to speak as a, you know, this is a, a separate new event. It doesn't decrease the amount of people who may need ER care for a car accident or for uh, or, or flu, normal influenza that they might have seasonally or cancer or whatever. It just complicates those resources and can put additional people at risk that don't even have COVID-19 who are uh, just need health care because this, and it could exasperate things for people who might normally have a positive outcome. It may not be possible if the system strained to this point. So I just have seen that an argument a lot. It's frustrating right. to see, you know, people consistently go back to this trope about, well, you know, why are we taking this so seriously because X, Y, and Z happens. Well, we're adding an entire, entire layer of ramped up, accelerated demand that uh, we can help to prevent by social uh, limiting our interactions and stopping the spread. So. That's my understanding. Yeah. Does that seem, that's seem to be that's a... That's absolutely right. And, you know, the curious thing, not curious, but the thing, Brian, is even with influenza now, um, we're seeing actually lower rates of influenza given the time of year compared to previous years. And mm -hmm. one of the really thoughts behind that is because of the social distancing we're doing because of COVID-19, that it's actually having an effect on influenza spread. Sure. Well, we're limiting, we're not transmitting all kinds of things yeah, now exactly. because uh, <laughs> of our limited interaction. This Full Exposure Podcast episode has been made possible through the support of Metro Health, University of Michigan Health, and Dr. Peter Hahn, who believe that creativity and the arts are essential to a rich, healthy, and fulfilling life.